today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the second part in my palette of the month for May and the palette for the month is Moon Dust from Urban Decay it uh, looks like this if you didn't know I have done one other look with this I can leave that video up here and today I want to do like a super shimmery eyelid maybe cut crease I haven't decided yet I am though a little bit afraid because it feels like I'm going to have shimmers everywhere. I will try to use free shades. I am also going to use the Infinity Deep palette by Linda Holberg. But I think I will just get started and you will see what I will do. So I will start with the Infinity Deep palette and I will take... Lightyear and Foreign X and my plan <laughs> with this is to do black out here and then do at least two shimmers on my lid and I'm going to do kind of cut crease I don't know if it's going to be a cut crease but kind of what a cut crease so I will start with Lightyear <laughs> I actually think in this Infinity D palette that light here is the shade I use the most. I just love to use this in my crease. So light here is on and I'm thinking maybe it's going to like fast forward when I do this that is not with the moon dust. So now I will just take Fornex, the black one and Take it on my outer here and because I'm doing, I'm taking a glitter primer so it doesn't feel like I need to be that precise with this. I just take it out here. And I think that I'm going to, oh, <laughs> why do I do it, why do I do it like this? I don't know. Because I am using other palettes together with the Moon Dust palette, I'm not going to like focus on things I use with it because I have had the Moon Dust palette for a long time and I don't know how to use it or I don't know what to do with it and I feel that maybe <laughs> People that are watching me feel the same if they have the moon dust. So I want to do like uh, something that you can do with whatever and just add the moon dust. I don't know, maybe that's boring. I don't know. But like I feel that everybody has a good crease shade and black. Okay, and now I'm going in with the glitter primer from NYX and I am going to somewhat do a cut crease I don't know how this will go so I take a small little brush and okay and I just take it and I will put it over the black as well and you know that like the trick for doing a cut crease is take some either glitter glue or glitter primer or concealer or whatever and then close your eyes so you get the line but I actually like to do freehand more I don't know why I just do maybe I shouldn't say that before I am finished because maybe I will fuck it up Okay, I do it like that and then I'm trying to not close my eye or open my eye and then I'm going in with Galaxy <laughs> and Lightyear. So Galaxy out here and over the black and then Lightyear in here. So we start with Galaxy and when I swatched it this seemed to have like some green specks to it. Really like that. 
and maybe blue as well. Okay, so something like this. And then I'm going to take light here. And I always feel <laughs> a bit stressed when I have cut my crease. Oh, hello, light here. And I don't know if I like this super cut crease is something that I am super thrilled about. Like this sharp line. So I will try to fix this. Okay, I think I have set the most of the glitter primer. And now <laughs> I will go in with the black one again and just a little bit on the brush. Take it out here. And why do I do this like it's a tutorial? I don't know. Okay, maybe something like this. I don't know. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like like the sharp edge here. Maybe I will take. This is stupid. I do it either way. <laughs> I take this small brush from Kaleidos, dip it in the black, the Fornax, and like swoop it here. Maybe I should have done the taking the black my whole crease before I cut it. It's always easier to add the black than try to take it away. Okay, what do you feel? It's like I don't know if I set the whole glare primer because it's a dark like rim up here with the black. But I think I might like it. It feels like I have done it with a purpose. So maybe I don't hate it. We'll go in with a little bit more. Okay, so I will do the same on the other eye and I don't feel like you need to be with me when I'm doing it because I need to be concentrated and it's a little bit stressful. Okay, I'm just going in with a little bit more black. Maybe I should have just taken this galaxy all the way so do you know what I'm going to do it like that I don't know where to put my things and I take the galaxy and take it I turn the brush around take it whole way I don't know how much difference the black did underneath, but it's there and I think I like this. So I will do the same on the other eye and take away the fallouts, fix my base and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes and then we complete this super shimmery look. Okay, so for my under eyes I think I will go in with Lightyear and Fornax and then take I think I have a pen from Linda Harburg that is kind of like this um, galaxy shade. I don't know. Um, so I will just keep a pretty simple lower lash. I will start with light here and just blend this out. And then I smudge Fornax closest to And then I smudge Fornax closest to my lashes. Maybe I should go in with the pen from Linda Holberg that I am thinking of and try to blend it. Um So it's Atria, Atria flash, and I will. Why do I always like an apple like this? 
I will take this on my lower lash. I will try it least. I think I need to sharpen this, something like that, and then I go in with the brush and try to smudge it out when it's still like not completely set. Okay, so I will mess the other eye up. I think I will sharpen this first, and I fucked it up even more. I really love myself sometimes. So, for try to save this, it's unsavable. I will go in with Spectre, this one, and put it in my inner corner and just swirl it. Okay, this feels like a complete mess. Why do I always want to make it hard for myself? I have absolutely no idea. So I will put on mascara, take something in my waterline, I don't know what. Okay, so this is the finished look and yeah, <laughs> for my waterline water I use Atria. I won't say Atria because that's just, just like the Swedish thing. Atria? Atria. Flash from Linda Holberg and for my lips I first took Black Chef... Black... I first took black champagne from Nabla and then I put crystallize a uh, liquid lip a gloss from Kaleidos because I thought it was going to match the eyes which I think it does. So what do I think? It feels a little bit better now when I have something in my waterline, I have mascara on but it like came out really really dark and yeah I maybe think I do like this. I don't know. So, I have used for my eyeshadow uh, the Infinity D palette, but you can use whatever you want. And I took this shade, it is a perfect shade for me to do like in my crease. And then I took the black one for next. And from the Moon Dust palette, I took Galaxy and Lightyear, and also a little bit of Spectre in my. Inner corner, I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but yeah, I I really love the lids and uh, I don't know how much difference the black did uh, underneath the galaxy, but I really like this look and I start to like this more and more, but it's just, I don't know if I'm going to reach for this after this month uh, while I'm using this. I don't know, but as for right now, I like it more than I thought I would. So yeah, this is my second look with the Moondust palette. I really hope that you like that I'm using this palette and if you have this palette at home and don't use it, just take it out and maybe slap like one shade all over your lid because they look really good. Even the light here that looks just like a green it I really like it so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye